Hey everybody. So I figured I may as well cover this at this point. The white glue is pretty much dried. Everything's uh, nice and together. It's stuck. You definitely can't pull that out very easily. So next up is simply taking some super glue and sealing this back together. Unclogging the tip would definitely be a good one. Let's see if that worked. Nope. So that's the bad thing about these little, uh, I don't even know what they're called. Well, it'd help if the glue was actually in there. It looks like the tube is empty. So I'll just get another tube here. Definitely want this to have a good seal. I'm just letting the glue, whatever's on the tip there, fall out all by itself. No pressure on the canister whatsoever. Now we'll line this up here. So that's back in shape. And we'll get a whole pile of clamps on this now. I don't know which clamps I have are the strongest, so I'm just going to try all of them here. Now, the big ones are definitely the strongest. The super glue only needs a few minutes, but I'm going to give this a half hour before I pull this off. But at the very least, what you can see here is all the strands are coming out the back real nice and neat. They got a little wiggle room, and if I hold this up to the light, see if I can hold it up to the light and still get it to show on here or not. That's not too bad. Well, actually, I'll pull out a little flashlight here. We'll turn the main light off. And we have light coming through. Some of them are a little dimmer than others. There's a couple reasons for that. Just holding the LED up to the... Yeah, there we go. So it's just a matter of angle. So that's definitely working there. And all is well. <clears throat> so, like I said, I'm going to let this sit a real long time. Because the fibers are going to be pushing the walls apart a little. And we want that to be as tight as possible. So uh, that is it for the first fiber optic installation. See you on the next video. Oh, hey, here's a couple other ones. When you go to put this piece in, it's a really good idea to carve out a uh, little square of plastic out of the back there first. What I had to do was take the X-Acto and kind of hollow that out, and that was really tough. So uh, do yourself a favor carve a hole first because getting these square and clean is definitely going to be tough. The holes are now kind of curved in some places. It's not quite straight lines or there's little tiny shreds of plastic kind of hanging out. So I'm hoping I can clean those out a little better. It shouldn't be too much of a problem. And uh, definitely watch for a proper installation on all the brass stuff coming up. Thanks for watching. See ya. Here's one more uh, thing I'll show you. So you recall this light box here that I set up. Basically I just ran this across the face of my uh, hand sander. The orbital sander. It was a little uneven. So turned it on. Ran it across here to even everything out. There's still a little warp on there. But it's not individual pieces that are off. It's pretty 
good overall not quite a true plane but it's going to work for what we need it for so snapping that in there this is a really tight fit I couldn't have done this better if I had planned it uh, so the idea was that an LED in each of these will distribute the uh, light or break it up a little more and you can probably see some white stuff on the plastic here that's the micro crystal clear that's still drying if you get a lot in between pieces where it can't air dry then uh, it looks like it may take forever so I may have to pull that apart it does so pretty easily but I got this little handy uh, keychain flashlight and here we go nice this is gonna work out really well what I would like to do is somehow get this point of light to distribute into three but uh, I haven't quite figured out how I'm going to do that yet. But when I do, I'll definitely show you. So one LED in each of these sections is definitely going to work out. The light is going to split up really nice. And if I could just do it crossways here and up and down here, that would definitely be good. So having this top row shut off is going to work out great. I can have lights all right next to it and you'll never know. If I want to emphasize the bottom or the top of any of these columns, they can be emphasized, which is really good. And uh, pretty much that's that for the moment. So I'm really happy with this piece. I think this is probably going to be the first one that I bring to completion. I'm not going to put anything in here yet until uh, all the pieces are painted separately. But I will be uh, putting fiber optic in all these pieces before I paint it. So stay tuned for all that. I got to dig out this central area, which is some kind of round ball with some other stuff in there. And uh, we'll go from there. See ya.